Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to another video presentation. And uh, two and a half thousand subscribers. Wow! Um, thank you very much. And if you're a new person watching this, please uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, click on the bell button to make sure you get all the latest uh, uh, um, alerts for all the videos that keep coming uh, up and hopefully there's going to be a lot more to come and uh, just uh, all I want to show you that especially if you're living in the Yorkshire area I'm now an uh, electric vehicle charging point installer so as long as you've got an eligible vehicle I can um, give you a discount your £350 discount to have a vehicle charger installed not only that just to reiterate the part of the smart home installers I'm also a solar panel installer with battery backup systems so yeah um, please feel free to take a look at the website and you can see uh, all the little services that we can do so getting back onto the topic um, I'm going to be talking about um, updates now uh, somebody inquired uh, about having some instructional videos about all the stuff that I used to do for the home center 2 back for the home center 3 so I thought what better way to start than the update process now we had a new update released a couple of days ago which is the 5.0.5.070 update a bit of a mouthful so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the procedure i use to do a seamless and free uh, pain-free update so let's go on to our home center so i've logged in First thing I suggest everybody does before doing absolutely anything is to reboot the home center. So let's reboot. So once the system is rebooted, what we're doing is we're making sure we're cleaning out any of the cache memory, any crap that's basically in there. So we're gonna start with a clean slate. So I'm gonna leave that alone, let that carry on doing, and then I'll come back to you in um, a minute or so after the update sorry after the reboot because uh, it can take around about a minute or so for the whole system to up, uh, to reboot properly so i will uh, see you guys in uh, in a second okay now that uh, the home center has restarted what we're going to do is we're going to create our backup so I'll click on the settings backup so now I've got um, cloud backups and local backups. So what I'm going to do is I don't have much space because the backup file is quite big now and my system is quite large. So what we're going to do on this one is I'm actually going to create a backup and I'm going to download it to my machine. So create a local backup. I'm going to call it pre-update. The reason why I know this is because I tried to do a create backup um, uh, an online backup, a cloud backup and it uh, failed because there was not enough space left. So to do, so that's how I know I need to create a local backup instead. Another method I could have used was to delete my existing cloud backup and then create one. However. I'd rather keep a cloud backup online and just do a local one instead. So if your system is relatively small and or you're not using as much memory, then I suggest that you do do a cloud backup as well. But either way, doing a backup is uh, better than not doing a backup. So if you can, do both. I'll just uh, give it another minute or so while it does that and I'll uh, come back to you in a second right now that my download sorry my backup has been done I'm now going to download it to my desktop so I'll click on download click on download and just gonna save it to my down folder sorry my desktop that's been done so we've done the update uh, sorry we've done the reboot brilliant we've done the backup perfect now we can go and start doing the update 
So let's click on the update button. And so my existing version and my the new version. So um, if you want to have a look at the change log of what's going on, you can certainly have a quick read of that. Although they have made quite a few changes and quite a few bug fixes. So that's probably one of the reasons why it got uh, delayed. So now I'm gonna hit download update. So what it's now gonna do, it's gonna download the update. I know it's obvious. So just wait for it to download. It shouldn't take, um, shouldn't take too long to download. Again, I'm just gonna pause it and come back. Right, now that the update has uh, downloaded, we're not gonna create a cloud, we're not gonna create a local, um, we're not gonna do any backup because we've already done our backups. We're gonna accept the privacy policy. If you wanna have a quick read, just click on the button and take a read. So accept and I'm gonna install the update. And say yes. So now what it's going to be doing, it's it's now down, um, sorry, it's now doing a system update and it can take anything up to five to 10 minutes. So I'm now going to pause the video again and uh, I'll come back to you shortly. Right, as you can see, we are now back up and running and all working and software updated. So click, click on back on home and we can still see all our devices and everything are all okay and um, things are all online which is brilliant excellent so that's painless pain free and update has succeeded so and there we have it so carry on with that flow of thought and all being well you shouldn't have any issues and you should be able to update your own home center threes up to the latest firmware and remember what i said if you haven't subscribed please do to get some more informative videos just like this um, make sure you click the bell button so that you can uh, get alerted to all new videos that come online and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content and appreciated it uh, please feel free to click on the donation link and send, uh, send a coffee my way. Thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.